Hey everybody, slash 2x, I uh, got a video for you all. This is actually a very specific one. Uh, some people have mentioned it and uh, somebody even mentioned it in one of the comments recently. So we're going to be going over overclocking. So if we take a look right here at our modules, you'll see I'm currently running at 81% down there at the bottom. That's out of 100% output percentage potential. I went ahead and did this with a sidewinder because it's easy to push over the limit so you can see what I'm talking about right away. So let's go ahead and just get right to the nitty gritty. So if you see over here, we have the available juice that I have. So 6.4 megawatts. I'm currently using 5.24 megawatts with everything deployed and 4.46 retracted. Retracted and max available are the two numbers you really need to worry about initially. So the other numbers may be important, but not quite in the same way. So give me a second here. We'll go ahead and pull that up. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to leave the power plant alone. We want it as low as possible for the purposes of this video type. So a couple of quick things. First thing, frame shift drive for what we're doing doesn't matter. You can always get the highest grade you can afford. So always get the max frame shift drive. That's number one recommendation. Uh, number two, always get the max power distributor. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of juice, but you always want the best one of those. Um, everything else after that. It's kind of personal preference what you're doing. Uh, I already pre-scoped this out to see which would be the quickest way to do this. And I have found that the shield generator, uh, of course it mixed it in. Sees, that means I shot by the A. There it is. All right, so A level. As you can see, this is gonna put me past what I can do. There's a little trick we're going to deploy here in a moment to get around this little issue. All right. So now my shields are probably rebuilding. And there we are. Everything was red for a second as it kicked everything online. So usage. I'm now at 105% usage. In order to be able to do what I need to do with the ship, when I go out and fly out, it's going to shut down all my systems. So we'll go ahead and just do that real quick. I'll go ahead and fly out and show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's take just a moment. Now, I haven't changed anything yet as far as configuration is concerned. There we are. So, when I go out, you're going to see what really happens when you attempt to deploy weapons when you're so overclocked. And because I'm going to be taking my weapons out, I do want to make sure I get out of that no-fire zone. Alrighty, no fire zone left. Alright. Got a little coast action. Alright. This would be a good spot to stop. So. Go ahead and take out my weapons. Oh! Everything's depleted. My thrusters just went offline. My... Oxygen's now draining out. So all of these items got turned off because of the group they're in. They're on group two. See this priority over here? It's the second from the far right. It says priority. So when I have these things deployed, everything that's priority level two drops off because I'm going past the power I can use. Everything's back on. It restored my atmosphere. So this default configuration is garbage. Never stay with this. You always want to take some items and turn them off. First thing I recommend, create a third group. So now I have frame shift drive in group three. Always put your frame shift drive in your lowest group number. Why? You can't jump anyway if your weapons are out. So if your weapons are out, it doesn't matter if your frame shift drive is off. You can't jump anyway. Now there's a tiny bit of delay at the end. It takes about one to two seconds after the weapons have fully retracted for the power to fully come back. So the frame shift drive won't come back immediately, but it's only a second or so. 
that's not enough to cause any significant problems with your ability to get away should you start running. So the next item I always recommend, cargo hatch. Now, this is not to be confused with the actual cargo bay. This is just the hatch to open and close your cargo. You can't really scoop in the middle of a firefight anyway. And in this case, that's 9% of my power. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in group 3 as well. So now, when I go to deploy my weapons, it only turns off group 3 because that's 4% and 9%. That gives me plenty of room to work with. I could theoretically have gone 13% over my total power amount. And I can still shoot and fight now. And I have my thrusters, my shields are up. I still have access to everything I may potentially need in order to keep fighting. It's always going to say that you exceed, though, whenever you initially turn it on. And then items will go red, turning them off. But in a Sidewinder, not really as big of a deal to be able to do this. When you get to the bigger ships, like you're looking at the Vulture, the Fertilance, the Python, any of those larger ships that you may be taking out for a fight, you want to shoehorn as much in as you can on some of those, which means you want to get those higher quality attachments. Going like this, overclocking your system, pushing it past where it should normally go, will get you that extra edge and get you the ability to keep in that fight a little bit longer and be able to do a little bit more damage. That's everything I had for this video. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe. I am going to continue to do more starter videos for all of you new players out there who just started, or maybe you're an existing player and you never thought of this. But thanks again.